and welcome to the highlights from the final card of fixtures of 2021. We've got a few Christmas crackers in store for you today as teams from all across the country were looking to end their year on a high. To start with, we're in a Premiership where it was third against fourth as Hoyk entertained Edinburgh Ackies at Mansfield Park. Hoyk were looking to maintain their flawless home record, six wins from six so far. In a game where the forwards saw the majority of the ball, Hoyk opened the scoring through skipper Matt Carrier. This try was converted by Kirk Ford, who once again was influential throughout. Ford was involved in the second try of the day. His kick gained Hoyk some valuable possession in the Aki's 22. Sean Muir and Carrier attempted to reach the defence, with Muir eventually carrying over at his second attempt. Aki's got themselves back in the contest moments later. Clem Lacour touching down after the line-out drive. Hoyk extended their lead instantly. Kirk Ford beat a few defenders before Connor Sutherland set up Stuart Graham to run in under the posts. But towards the end of the first half, the home side let their guard down. Rory Campbell's quick tap penalty caught the defence napping, with Finlay Simpson supporting to score. Then, on a stroke of half-time, Aki's forced a penalty, which standoff Jamie Looms converted to bring the deficit to six points at the interval. And Aki's kept their momentum up in the second half. Clem Lafleur added his second and Aki's third try of the day after several pick-and-go attempts inside the Hoyk 22. Looms converted to give the visitors a one-point lead. In the end, Kirk Ford and Hoyk had the last laugh. The standoff held his nerve to kick this penalty and snatch a narrow victory, whilst bringing the Bill McLaren shield back to its spiritual home. Elsewhere, there were three other matches in attendance premiership. At Millenni Park, high-flying Curry entertained Selkirk. Chieftain's winger Jamie Forbes had the game wrapped up inside the first 15 minutes, scoring a hat-trick of tries which set the tone for the day, as Curry came through in comfortable fashion. There was a big game at Riverside Park where bottom two sides Jed Forrest and Aberdeen Grammar met. It was the home side who came out on top in this one, running in six tries to ease their relegation fears and pile a whole load of pressure onto the team from the North East, whose premiership status is in jeopardy. Once again, Marr were involved in a match where the weather dominated the headlines. They got the job done at Fullerton Park, seeing off GHA with a bonus point victory. Their victory keeps them in second spot behind Curry going into the Christmas break. Hoyk stay third with their win and Jed Forrest go from ninth to sixth with a vital five points. Aberdeen Grammar will need to turn around their season fast if they're going to stay in the Premiership next season. They will hope the turn of the year will provide a turn of fortune as they take on Musselburgh in the first game of 2022. Elsewhere, Hawks take on Hoyk and Curry are at Edinburgh Ackies. Tenants National won now and Burmier were hoping to end a nine-game losing streak. They took on Cartha Queen's Park at Megaland. It was Cartha who took the lead from some great play from Graham Williamson. He started the move before collecting this pass, which allowed Tam Davidson to go in and score in the corner. Cartha got their second try of the day moments later. Jacob Adamson chipped the ball through and it caused chaos in the Burmier back line. Callum Anderson failed to deal with it, allowing Christopher Elliott to touch down. And they had their third try of the day with the final play of the half. Some slick play from the backs allowed Jacob Adamson to score in the corner, leaving Muir a mountain to climb. The Carther backs were clearly in fine form and they started the second half as they finished the first. Christopher Elliott got his second and Carther's fourth try of the day, securing the bonus point. Burmier did hit back, however, and finally got on the score sheet. The forwards did the bulk of their work to allow Tom Gracie to pile over. 
Carter weren't done yet, however, and they scored their fifth try of the day. Substitute Stuart Hamilton took the long way round and finished in style. Bermuda were looking to salvage something from the game as they went in search of a losing bonus point. They scored two tries in as many minutes, but it wasn't enough as Carter came away with the win. For Bermuda, however, they succumbed to their 10th defeat in a row. Elsewhere in Tennis National 1, there were four other matches. League leaders Heriots were back in action this week after being postponed last time out. They took on Highland, looking to get their revenge after losing the reverse fixture by one point. Heriots were in control for large spells of the game. They scored 36 points and secured a winning bonus point. Ayr got back to winning ways at Melbury. They ended a three-match losing streak, beating Sterling Wolves in comfortable fashion. In the Borders Derby, Kelso got the better of Gala, bringing to end an eight-match winning streak stretching back to early September for Gala. Watsonians could not capitalise on Bermier's loss down the road. They fell to Bigger at Myerside. The results meant Bigger in second spot, one point behind Heriots but with a game in hand. Gala are third and they've also got games in hand and could go top if they win both of them. Bermier and Watsonians are both scrapping it out at the bottom. Looking ahead to the new year now and there are plenty of fixtures to look forward to when the action resumes on the 8th of January. Melrose kick off 2022 with a home tie with Watsonians. Gala take on Heriots in the top of the table clash whilst Bicker take on Ayr in another big game. In Tenants National 2, Dumfries Saints ended their year on a winning note, beating Gordonians and ending their losing streak. They move up to fourth after Falkirk's game against Kirkcaldy was postponed. GHK, Preston Lodge and Stuart's Melville all won at the end to keep the title fight alive going into 2022. The new year kicks off with a Glasgow derby at New Annisland as Aki's host GHK. White Craigs also entertain Newton Stewart and Hamilton faced Dumfries. Only two games this week in National 3, both which took place on the West Coast. Murrayfield Wonders got a bonus point win beating Ardrossan and Hillhead Jordan Hill topped that with a clean sheet victory and taking five points as well at Greenock. This takes them back up to fourth ahead of Berwick, who have three games in hand on them. They will play one of these games on the 8th of January against Ardrossan, while Purser hosts Greenock and Murrayfield Wonders play Howard Fife. So as the curtain falls on 2021, it is Curry who lead the way in the Tenants Premiership. Across the city, Heriots are top of the tree in Tenants National 1. For Aberdeen, Watsonians and Bermuda, they'll be hoping for a Christmas miracle to turn their season around in 2022, however. But from all of us here at Scottish Rugby, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, enjoy the festive season and we'll see you in the new year.